you know, I'm always, I don't know why I'm always very much happy when I uh, notice that this woman has done a lot of investigations and she's about to give us another bomb. Uh, she calls herself an investigative journalist. So even without uh, further ado, or without much ado, you should know who I'm talking about already. And she's no other person than Kemi Loyo. Now, Kemi Loyo has revealed a lot of shocking news about someone. And this time around, well, he's a celebrity. I won't say he's not a celebrity. He's a celebrity pastor. Yes, he's a celebrity pastor. Not uh, a, a Hollywood star or musician or entertainer in Nigeria. And he's not even based in Nigeria. Okay, Kemi Loyo makes shocking revelations about flamboyant pastor. Tobi Adibuiga and his several scandals. Wow. Like, seriously? Like, seriously? Like, no, no, the question on my mind right now is, how is she doing it? Like, where does she get her stories from? Where does she get her news from? Like, how, how, <laughs> how she did this show say this thing, they write, and she just, like, a pump. Nigerian investigative journalist Kenyulu Loyo has made some interesting but shocking revelations about the pastor who is so so flamboyant to be at the way he's very worthy. He's very, very worthy. Taking to an Instagram page, the controversial journalist decided to highlight the many reasons why the UK pastor is well known in Nigeria, especially with his lavish lifestyle. Well, you can say that again lavish lifestyle. Papa is so uh, he's very generous. Part of the reasons why I say it is generous, uh, this man that died two weeks ago, oh, may so rest in perfect peace. It was a very painful experience, like, oh, God, where? Dan Hollywood actor. Well, let me just mention his nickname. He was nicknamed Fadi Yoloru during his days. He was always acting as an herbalist. So he has been down with a very strange disease and illness. And to be a boy, guy, this pastor, helped like that's something about this pastor he helps a lot and he's very very close to people like david Owen. or okay ken Olunoyo noted how pastor toby the clergyman has been involved and embroiled in several controversies wow let me come again i know that one self shock you say yeah pastor toby is it that Pastor Toby is like Osh Poppy? You know, Osh Poppy was so flamboyant too. He was always spending, always posting, no gushy bag. You know, the, <laughs> there was a time I had that. Even the uh, the 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 waist bane, I mean, the waist bag that uh, what was his name, Osh Poppy uses that. The, the waist bag is all made of gushy. And I was like, Jesus. Someone said it's almost like $1,000 or something like that. Hilary, baggy dirty, on top waiting. Well, from financial misappropriation to fraud, domestic violence, sexual abuse, and many more, the list is endless. However, Ken Olunlo, you pointed out the controversial pastor has never been charged to court, despite the several allegations laid on him. Well, we don't really know how true is that. You know, she calls herself an investigative journalist, but we don't know what's up. We just know that that's what she calls herself. She might have done her investigations true, true, or she might just decide that. She realized she, it, is, it is very, 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 very easy. Can just decide to just chase cloud to just do stuff. Hmm? To be honest, boy, guy is a UK based Nigerian pastor. He's known for his flamboyant, raw concert style services. He has a flair for luxury items from cars to fashion. But me, I, I don't think it is bad for a man of God to have a flair for luxury items, even from cars to fashion. It is just what he wants. That is my own belief, actually. That's my own belief, though. Well, Toby made a bulk of his money from key cryptocurrency. He has been accused of many controversies. Credo and MP Steve Red once accused him of allegations of financial misappropriation. In addition, fraud, domestic violence, and sexual abuse have been leveled against his church, Spark Nation, and church pastors, yet no one has actually pressed charges. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, let's 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 go back to last year, 2022, June. Yeah, when UK government shut down the pastor's church, over one point nine million pounds fraud allegations. <laughs> Shineke, is this euro of fraud? <laughs> I, I think <laughs> that's actually euro. Hmm. Okay, recall that in June twenty twenty two, Pastor Toby Adibuiga, Toby Adibuiga, was alleged to have defrauded his church. <laughs> the UK court had that Spark Nation, which was incorporated in twenty twelve as a charity set up 
you know, to advance Christianity had been defrauding its members. That was one of the allegations, actually. At first, the church group received positive reviews and media attention. But by well, late 2019, Spark Nation was subject to media scrutiny, following allegations by former church members that they had been financially exploited by senior church personnel. Well, the Solvency Service received complaints about Spark Nation before instigating its own confidential inquiries into the church group's activities. Investigators interviewed one of the company's directors, Adidapo Lubenga Adibuenga, who was also known as Dapo Adibuenga or Pastor Dapo. And during interviews, Mr. Adibuenga said that the church group had over 2,000 members and 200 ordained ministers and pastors, but failed to provide any supporting information. Wow, so for you to know that Spark Nation no be small church, not big church, a church that has a congregation of 2,000, even over 2,000 members. Gee! Another church that I know has that kind of congregation in Nigeria is Dunamis. That's Pastor Paul, Pastor Dr. Paul Enechi. Hey, <laughs> that's, that's Gara, Omo, I did tell you. Where further inquiries found that Spark Nation either failed to comply or only partially complied with statutory requirements, including providing data to support claim donations and accounting records in support of 1.87 million euro of expenditure. Kai. Salvation Proclaimer Ministries Limited, as PAC, was wound up, wound up after the court concluded the company operated with a lack of transparency, filed suspicious or incorrect accounts, and was insolvent at the time of the hearing. And it was, <laughs> it was also recognized that the company provided inconsistent information to the Insolvency Service and Charity Commission and failed to develop adequate accounting records. I'm on source, that was the goohee. I don't really, like, so, sometimes I, I really feel like I should just maybe work as a, as a, as a, as, as a CID official, officer or DSS. Like, I just like investigations. I love investigating, but geez, these guys, how do they do all the stores, man? Hmm? How do they do all these stuff? Well, the company remains subject to a statutory inquiry by the Charity Commission, which is examining financial governance and safeguarding matters at the charity. Oh, this is so, 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 so awesome. <laughs> Can we know your Can we know your reason? Also, the Nigerian should not say that. Now, I don't know, probably the way she has called Pastor Toby up, maybe some things will be done for uh, to just maybe catch him or not. I don't really think so. don't really think so. Yeah, even talking about David Doe that she dragged, yeah. David Doe has even just decided to splash over 900 million on New Labongini. He was back. The king is back. Obi, Shamo, Tule, Fuledo, Chuk. All right, thank you guys and have a very wonderful day. Kemi Olu Noyo versus Tobi Adeboyega, the celebrity pastor. Let's see what will happen next. God bless you. Have a very wonderful time.